There's another great uh, video that's out right now of this redneck kid. I don't know where he's at. Florida? Looks like it. Yeah. Kid Rock in Florida. And this, I guess, he saw a robbery take place. Now, he's on TV, dressed apart, because he's wearing a coonskin cap. <laughs> Like it's either A, the 1800s, or B, the 1950s, and he watches the Disney Channel. So let's watch this kid as he explains to us what happened. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hid a vehicle as he fled from police. Now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it, digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. This kid, <laughs> in 17 seconds, he's wearing a coonskin cap, brings up Dukes of Hazard and Dale Jr. What? what more could you possibly want? And he's kind of shown us that the car is fishtailing. Just play it again and just picture a guy with his palm out fishtailing. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hit a vehicle as he fled from police. Now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it, digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up. And shot forward, and when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. Now, he's wearing a coonskin cap. <laughs> he's in front of some fucking dirt floor fucking shanty. I don't even know what century he's in. He's got basketball hoop, though. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't see a hoop on there. I see a backboard. This is just, again, that thing of white people quitting. It just seems like since Oxycontin came in, White people just uh, gave up. Now, go back and listen to it so you hear the reporter, because the reporter sounds like they're wearing a, sco a coonskin cap, too. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hit a vehicle. It's in the hole. That's fucking... <laughs> That's exactly what he sounds like. That's fucking Bill Murray. That's awesome. Once the clerks alerted the police, there was no stopping that gopher, gopher Kong. Go back and listen to it from the beginning. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hit a vehicle as he fled from police. Now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it, digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and now, shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. This fucking young man wearing a coonskin cap in this day and age, that is pussy repellent. This is a fucking... You think this kid could get laid? I think it could get laid. I think the hat kind of looks good on him. I think it's it's unique. Ain't no one else wearing a fucking coonskin cap. For a fucking reason, Hicks. <laughs> Man, I think it's don't, a bad toupee. He's just digging it. Come on. Hey, he digging in there. He come in Duke's Hazard style. Then he's pulling out Dale Jr. <laughs> this is a report. Come believe what he saw out there. Fuck. What fucking TV station is this? <laughs> the best one ever. Go back to the beginning. I got to see the whole thing. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hit a vehicle as he fled from police. Now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it, digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Oh, he knows exactly what he's talking about. My only point of reference that I can explain this to you with is Dale Jr. Well, Dale Jr. fucking runs shit. That's what this guy was doing, running down the street, robbing this credit union. And then he says, you know, Dale Jr., is that you? <laughs> Mama, where's my cool skin cap? I gotta get dressed up Dale Jr. here. This camera's outside. Like, you could meet a dumb fucking hillbilly, and they're smarter than this fucking kid. <laughs> Because this is a, a, a fucking uh, Flatlander. <laughs> you don't need smarts with that hat. You love this fucking hat. <laughs> it's fucking. Looks I crazy, guarantee man. you, you can't get laid with that hat on. It just looks fucking nuts. <laughs> he came in there, Dale Jr. style. I thought it was Dale Jr. style. I was like, here's three car. Digging it. Getting it. You know, I was listening to Skinner and couldn't believe it. I started hearing, I started hearing something coming my way, and I'm going, hold on, shit, is that the General Lee car? Holy fuck! And I knocked some dust off my coonskin cap. 
crazy fuckers out there. Oh, yeah. Um, Aaron, you're on my fez. Hey, uh, he's getting it. Reporting live from Alabama, Jimmy James. You can keep the change. There you go. <laughs> getting it. Digging in. Get him. I mean, I would, the reason why they only fucking shot him from, like, his shoulders up, because I guarantee you his dick was out. Oh, that every time he fucking takes a piss, he forgets to put his dick back in. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to put that away, dog. Come on. He coming out through there. The fucking kid. He's the man. He <laughs> lives in an abandoned fucking house. Sure, he's squatting. But he's got to go to the guy's fucking We're just growing, clinic. We're growing dirt. Uh, my family, dirt farmer. Then he's going to shoot some hoops later on some grass. Then it's back to work at the pill mill. Uh, people are writing to us on the interior bank. Um, Matthew writes in, he's still on Rotten Tomatoes under his old New York press outfit. They just haven't decided. Yes, I know. We all read the AV Club today. That's right. After so, the AV Club read us. In a nice way. Yeah. They did the work we refused to do. They're first on the case. I got to give it to the AV Club. That's journalism. That's right. They blew it up. Well, we're just in here doing slap dick radio. We're like, hey, Armand said it. Okay, Armand, you're going. <coughs> That's not enough if you're a journalist. A journalist gets up, gets the story, and then more importantly, gets the story out there first. They dig in and they get they, it. They, <laughs> they dig in. <laughs> you know, it's like the General Lee. Dukes of Hazard style. Go ahead, run it again, you fucker. Dukes of Hazard getting it digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. That's right, buddy. Aaron, you're on running Fez. Hey, Ron. How good would it have been if he, if he cut into a, a few bars of Redneck Iron Man right there at the end of the interview? <laughs> Fucking Redneck Iron Man is the best ever. Uh, look who it is. It's Hard Rock Johnny. Panama City, Florida strikes again with the coonskin hat. It's unbelievable. <laughs> MVB, WMVB in Panama City. I looked it up. Well, here's the thing, Fez. You said never out of style. Only one fucking dude was wearing it back in the day. That wasn't in style then. <laughs> it's unique. I expected a little better from Florida. I know. People were even... Why? <laughs> have you been down there? Yeah, oh, by the I way, have. today at 4 o'clock, old Chandler takes the big sleep. He's taking Bin Laden out for fucking dinner tonight, I think. An afternoon one. Yeah, I think it's today at 4 o'clock. Look it up. But um, we brought him up yesterday. Uh, Fez and I lived in Florida where that murder took place. And quite frankly, I finally had it out of my mind and then it fucking rehaunted me. <clears throat> yeah, his last meal. What do you have? Two salami sandwiches on white bread and half of a peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich. Half? <laughs> he oh he's saving God. something later? He declined the iced tea he ordered and drank coffee instead. He wants to be executed wearing his coonskin cap. Uh, first of all, I would fucking kill somebody for eating a salami sandwich and having coffee. That's grotesque. <laughs> That's terrible. What a weirdo. Why would you only have, if you're going to, like, you're going to die, why are you only having half a sandwich? It doesn't make sense. No, I don't want any cookies. I want to go in there looking tight in my orange right. suit. <laughs> I want to fucking be rocking it a little bit. Oh. My last meal would be 52 Valium. Because <laughs> I'd be a little nervous. Oh, man. And then the other thing I'd want to do is, like, instead of taking the long walk... I'd want to segue it. That would be my last request. Can I travel by segue? <laughs> yeah, why, you know, why put any effort into the last walk? Dead man rolling. <laughs> we'll get rolling mad at you again, Fess. All right, Johnny. Later, boys. Peace. Uh, Frank, you're on Fess. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I just want to say, if you listen to that reporter closely... He sounds a little like, like you said, Bo Murray, 
and Adam Sandler. Combine them two together, and he sounds a little like Adam Sandler, too, if you replay it. All right, we'll go back and listen to it. Once clerks alerted the police, he took off and hit a vehicle as he fled from police. Now he came in Dukes of Hazard, getting it digging like that, like Dale Jr., and then hooked up and shot forward. And when he hooked up and shot forward, that's when he came and, and, and hit. He did do a great job of describing it, though. I feel like I was there, though. Fuck yeah.